Hello, my name is Melina Dahl. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to uh, walk you through my process of uh, printing my um, um, botanical or floral um, designs. Uh, I start to add a lot of different colors and using a lot of different uh, masks. These are my uh, That's Crafty uh, mask designs. Um, and uh, I choose a lot of different masks uh, for this background layer. Now I wait for this layer to dry completely before I pick it up with a thin layer of white paint. I print on 12 by 12 inch scrapbooking paper that I don't use for scrapbooking anymore. And these are white on one side, so I print uh, on these because they are the perfect size for my 12 by 12 inch uh, plate. Now I want to start to cover up my background. Um, I put paint on the plate and then I mask off areas where I want the background to um, still be visible. Thank you. 
the masks and uh, stencil that you will see me use from now on uh, are handmade <laughs> from from uh, paper. I take my time between uh, each layer uh, to see what I have and uh, what I want to do next. Now I have a thin layer of paint almost uh, all over, so I decide to move on to the stencils. I really love colors, so I'm not after a realistic look. I just uh, choose colors that I like and I don't mind the leaves um, are um, blue or, or pink um, either. I just play.
Now I'm quite happy with the colors and uh, the coverage of my paper this far. So now I want to bring in some uh, high contrasting um, colors. I don't use black, I use Payne's gray. Uh, it's not as harsh as black can be. So I really like to work with the Payne's gray in my prints. now it's time for the last ish layer and uh, here I go with some um, opaque uh, really light pink and a little bit of white so it will uh, show up on the rest of the layers. Here I feel that my paper lack some definition around the, the edges, so I um, try to add some, but this first go was uh, too dry already, so I uh, did it again and uh, was happy with the kind of grungy, a little bit darker border around the paper. I add some details and highlights using a white gel roll pen. Now I want to add just a tiny bit more weight to the bottom of the page. So I just add some Payne's Gray again to ground um, the plants. <laughs> and uh, that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. I would really appreciate if you could subscribe and like my video and maybe leave a comment. I hope to see you back on my channel soon again and I wish you a wonderful day. Bye bye.